In this example, we want to find the interval convergence for the following series. Okay, so to do this, we need to apply the ratio test. Okay. All right. So we need the nth term and the nth plus one term. Okay, so the nth term here Okay, will be x to the n over n, and the nth plus 1 term will be x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth plus 1 term. Okay. okay, so we have x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and divide by the nth term so we'll go ahead and take the reciprocal of that so we're going to have n here and then x to the n on the bottom okay so this okay this is going to be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of so x to the n plus 1 over x to the n times n over n plus 1. Okay, so x to the n plus 1 over x to the n, okay, that's going to simplify to give us x, okay, just like in the previous example. Okay, so that's going to give us x, and we'll have n over n plus 1. Okay, so the the absolute value x can come outside the limit because it doesn't depend on n. Okay, and so we're left with the limit of n over n plus 1. So this limit, okay, because we can think of this as a, a rational function. Think of it in terms of x. So when you take the limit of x over x plus 1, that goes to 1. So therefore, the limit of this approaches 1. Okay. So for this, okay, remember we're, we we want to find out the the interval convergence, okay. So the limit here goes to one, okay. So for this, right, for for this series to converge, right, we want to find, right, we want to find out which x values that make this series converge, okay. So we need to right see, okay. So we need to see which we need to solve for the absolute of x less than 1 then, okay? Because that is the criteria uh, for convergence using the ratio test, okay? So we need to solve for this, okay? And this is the same thing as minus 1 less than x less than 1, okay? All right, so, okay, from here, okay, we can tell, okay, that the radius, the radius of convergence is going to be 1, okay? Because if we if we draw this out, the series okay. So the series uh, has an has a expansion point or right has a uh, it's been expanded about zero okay. So this is a Maclaurin series okay, and we have our points from minus one to one okay. So the radius here. Okay, so the radius is equal to 1. Okay, so right now we don't know what's happening at the endpoints. Okay, so it may converge or diverge at negative 1 and 1. We, we have, so we have to check. Okay, we have to check the endpoints. Okay, so that's the next step. So we need to check the endpoints on whether the series converges at, at, at those points or not. So let's start with x equals to 1. Okay, so, so we let x be equal to 1. So we're going to plug 1 back into the original series. Okay, so we have x to the n over n. So that's going to give us, okay, so this is starting from 1. So plugging in 1, we end up getting 1 over n. 
So this is a harmonic series that diverges. Okay. All right, it's harmonic series, which tells us that this diverges. Okay. Or you can think of it as a it's basically a type of P series, so P equals one. And when P is one, it diverges. Okay, now we check for negative one. Plug negative one back into the original series. Okay, so we have minus one to the n over n. This is an alternating series, okay? So that means we can use the alternating series test, okay? Okay, so we check the two conditions. Okay, so first, we have to check to see if the limit of the nth term, in this case, the nth term one is one over n, okay, is, and this is going to zero. Okay, so that's good. Next thing is we need to check to see if the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. So we're gonna have one over n plus one less than one over n. And that means, right, we have n is less than or equal to, I'm sorry, less than or equal to n plus one. And that's generally true, okay? That's true, okay? Okay, so it's true for, right, for the, the interval that we're interested in, which is going from one to infinity. Okay, so that condition is met. So both of these are met, okay? So therefore this uh, series converges at negative one. So therefore the interval convergence, okay? Okay, for the series, This is starting from one. So it was x to the n over n, okay. Okay, so the interval convergence for the series is, okay, we said that it was diverging at one and converging at negative one. Okay, so we're gonna have an close bracket around minus one because it's converging okay and then oh, an open parentheses for one because it's diverging there okay all right so this is this is the result that we need okay so remember bracket means that it's converging at that point and the parentheses means it's diverging at that point okay so this is our this is our solution and this has a radius of convergence at or sorry radius of convergence of one okay All right, so let me just say a few more things about this, okay? So if we, so what this tells us again is that if we put in minus one into the series here, it's gonna converge. At one, if we put in x equal one into the series, it's gonna diverge, okay? Anything between here, between negative one and one, not including one, will converge. Everything outside, so everything outside the set for the series will diverge. So for example, if we put in x equals to zero, yes, that's going to converge. If we put in x equals to, let's say, 10, okay, 10 is outside of this interval. So therefore, uh, this series will diverge when, at, uh, for x equals to 10, okay? All right, so we can think of this interval as the domain of the series, okay? Um, 